Hi, I'm Dan Payne, and you're watching FR Conventions. Well, that's easy. <laughs> that would be Mitchell. Crazy. He's, uh, he's a wild one. He's got a great sense of humor, a big personality. He's got that Australian vibe, which I love. And he's just a good, free-spirited kid. I mean, he was really warm and welcoming when I first met him. And uh, when we were about to do the first scene on the first day, I could tell he was nervous. And so I kind of got to have a father-son talk as an older actor with a young new actor. And we played some improv games and we just kind of helped him find his place and calm down and, and be the magic, incredible actor that he is and get rid of those nerves. So it was a really, it, me it meant a lot to me. It made me feel like I needed and deserved to be there. And it was a really cool way to connect with him. I don't know how to draw an angel, <laughs> but she's an angel. Um, we've been friends for 20 years. She's an incredibly talented actress, an amazing director. She speaks French fluently, which is kind of cool. And uh, she's a sweetheart. She's always there to support and help friends. And it was fun to go through all of it with her. You know, the two parent characters got to hang out and watch these kids grow for six years. I met her through auditions or we worked together. And I've just known her for a long time because of acting. Rockstar, <laughs> she um, she had swagger, has swagger. She's she's got style and, and swagger, and she knows business. She knows what she's doing. She knows where she wants to go, and she's really good about making those things happen. So she's got the yeah, she got this. I, I like swagger for her. Is there an emoji for that? I'm not gonna. I feel like her dad. She's a sweetheart, and when I met her, she was 13. So I felt like I, I really felt like I should be her dad. So I don't want to, I don't want to draw a baby, but she's like, I would say she's like my baby girl. You know, she's like, she has an incredible dad. But I was like, I felt like her set dad, even though I was, you know, Mitchell's dad on the show. I really felt like watching out for her like a dad. China is a, a wild child too. She's got, like Mitchell, she has a big personality. She's very, she's powerful. I think I draw like a, her emoji is like power. She's a strong character, very, she's bold. You know, she, um, I don't know how to say it without getting in trouble. She takes no crap, you know, <laughs> like she's one of those. So she, I just think she's like a, this powerhouse. And she's so talented as well, like all of them are so talented, but it was really cool. I mean, first time she sang, uh, What's My Name? I got chills, I was like, oof. And it was rehearsal, so. Uh, surfer, cool. I, I do the surfer emoji, but not that he's a surfer, he's just so cool. Like he is easy going, chill, so relaxed, nothing seems to phase him, never stressed. And just a really cool guy. And he always has time for everybody. And he's got this nice, easy smile. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oof. Um, that's, so Sophia's like a rock, rock star, but Thomas to me is like the male rock star, you know, like the uh, like Rolling Stones kind of, you know, like the a little bit of makeup and super good looking and crazy style, but so humble. Like he's so good looking and talented, but he, he's not. He's just comfortable in his own skin. 
which is really cool. He'll wear, he can wear anything or do anything or look any way and he looks good because he's just really, to me I get that he's just very comfortable with who he is, which is kind of a rock star. Dove, uh, shooting star. She had that quality, she, you could tell she was a star when you, when you met her. She was already really popular with her Disney stuff, but she, she knew what she was doing right from the beginning, you could tell. Very strong personality, very, like she was very aware of all the things that were going on all the time, just really with it. Being a star, it's, it's nice when somebody who, she's probably got, she always had so much going on. She always had, you know, rehearsals and, and songs to do and work on and she had media and all that stuff. But every time she saw you, she would say, like she'd put a big smile, run over and give you a hug. And that just, that meant something, you know, to be able to always make sure that she let you know that she knew you were there. It was very sweet. Sarah. She's like the powerhouse too. I like her as a, for the strong emoji. She's grounded. In my mind, she's very grounded and connected and, and a really solid kid who, she's unfazed, that's another word, like she won't get pushed around. That's what I find her strength. But she's also warm as, and welcoming too. She's a, a really nice mix of strong and powerhouse with warm and welcoming. A nice balance. Oh, curse and shadow. Icon, legend. I don't know how to draw a legend, but... So for me, because of my age, she's sort of in my world. I knew of her before. And when I heard that she was gonna be in the film, I was like, you know, little fan moment because she's incredible. And she's a firecracker. She's like, a, yeah, she's a ball of energy. And she's very sweet too. Very, very cool. Like, I've been lucky to be doing this for a long time, so it was pretty normal, but it was just really, I was just really aware of that, the fact that I have this opportunity to meet somebody that I admire. I didn't lose it, if that's it. Ah! Firecracker. You know, like a, you know, like the, a firecracker show? What do you call those? Yeah, firecracker. He's bright, vibrant, it goes all different colors. Uh, it's exciting for everyone to be around him. He can be loud and proud and uh, when they're going off, you're listening. You know, like firecrackers, when you hear them, you look. Same with Kenny, when he starts talking, you're like, you're drawn to him. He's uh, incredibly intelligent, extremely gifted. And you just know when he's around. You know when he's there and you listen when he starts speaking because you know you're gonna get something good. Cameron, a heart. He's, uh, yeah, it's hard to talk about him because just, he's a heart. 